First, we have the dancer Miro Cha. Let's welcome her before the dance. Welcome to this wonderful day. My name is Margaret Costantino. I'm the director of the Center for Refugee Services, which is one of the sponsors for this beautiful event. This is our sixth year of helping with World Refugee Day. It's an opportunity for us to come together, not only refugee communities and immigrant communities, but also people who've lived in San Antonio for many, many years. So it requires all of us to help newcomers who come into our neighborhoods and who are looking for jobs, who are looking for friends, who are looking for understanding, and who are looking to contribute. This is why the Center for Refugee Services was started about four and a half years ago by a group of community volunteers to welcome newcomers and to help them make that transition to their new lives in the United States. Yeah, uh, he talked about his ideas here. He, he, what he found here, the freedom, and also he talked about the education here uh, for his kids is better than there in Iraq. And also he said that uh, that uh, uh, there in Iraq, you know, uh, education these days costs a lot of money. Yeah, because you know the the public schools are not these days are not very good there in Iraq. So for that reason there is what we call private schools and private schools cost a lot of money. So many many people can't offer to you know to, to spend this uh, or to get the be better education for their for their children, for their kids because it costs them a lot of money. So you've been going to school here? Yeah. What is the school that you go to? College North. Pardon me? College North. Aha. Uh -huh. And you like it? Yeah. Good. Next year I'm going to hobby. Yeah. Yeah, um, for sixth grade. Well, it's hard. The, the, the school year is hard. But some, if you like, if you come, well, you're going to learn English a lot. Well, it really is a community. Uh, we will come and have conferences with their students at their apartments. Uh, we encourage families to come up to the school as often as possible. And uh, we like to be involved outside the classroom. I mean, it's a community effort. It's not just one person that can really help these students and their families. It, it takes a village, you know, to really help them. So coming out here is just another way that we can support them and their families. For the Northside Independent School District, it is the newcomer school. So all the new refugees um, will come to our school from pre-K to fifth grade. And then after that, then they'll go to more of their local schools. So they're actually bused in, but there is a large population that lives within our um, school boundaries. Tell me about the different langu languages that you're, you're, um, yeah. you're facing in, in school. I know in my class there's at least six to nine different languages in the class, um, just depending on you know the flow, because our classes are constantly growing, because refugees are constantly coming into the city. It's not something that's static, and so, so at some times we will have more um, different, many more countries are represented than just languages, because we know that not just one country speaks Arabic. Correct. So um, it just varies, you know, from month to month, really. Welcome Yolana, who is going to dance next. I 
I want to say something that to Miss Latour and Miss Rust and Miss Allen to thank them that they teach us a lot of English and we will be like in sixth grade and we will be ready to sixth grade. And even Miss Allen, my brother's teachers, uh, they help a lot with them. Uh, they help a lot to teach us a lot of English and uh, I thank them because they make us ready to sixth grade. Well, we are blessed to be your teachers. We are. You had been working with? Uh, with U.S. Army, yeah. So I worked for the U.S. Army for more than two years. And uh, after releasing, you know, because the, uh, the U.S. Army withdrew from Iraq, so they released us, me and my son, because we, we together we worked for the U.S. Army. And then we worked for a, a, a security company. Uh, it is also uh, an American one. It is called Torres. And we worked for that uh, company also for one year. And then, you know, we came here. This is our last destination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're staying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of Masjid Bilal ibn Rabah, the Muslim community here in San Antonio, we uh, welcome the refugees and all those who support them. We are impressed and champion all of the efforts that are being done to recognize the imbalance and the injustice that has been done to people all over the world. We welcome, as part of San Antonio, this city has a haven and a place of, of, of healing for those who have been displaced, those who have been disconnected, especially the children who have come across the border from various lands and many of whom are in jail, in prison at this moment. <laughs> 